I'm Chris Termas with Livestock World. We're at the 2012 Indiana State Fair. We've got Jeff Miller here from Jeff Miller Show Cattle. He's going to spend a little time with us this afternoon and talk about his fall sale coming up on September 14th. That'll be held on CW Cattle Sales. Jeff, obviously I know you guys have had a lot of success in your program, raised some AI sires, raised lots of champions, and been fortunate to have a very successful program. For those that aren't as familiar with Jeff Miller Show Cattle, can you give us a little bit of information and history on your program and, and how you've come to be so successful? Uh, we've been in 4-H for, oh, I don't know. I'm 57, so I was in 4-H. I've been in 4-H for 47 years, it seems like. And uh, after we got out of 4-H, we started AI and cows and uh, selling some club calves. We've sold them several different ways. Uh, so like you said, we've raised some really good cattle. And um, it's a family family owned. We don't buy a lot of cattle to resell. It's all stuff that we raise there on the farm. We do have a small arsenal of donor cows that we uh, use uh, a lot of embryo work. Uh, 95, approximately 95 cows. Most of them are all AI'd, small portion are embryo calves. So uh, got a good set of calves. People have told me that I got one of the nicer set of cows they see when they go look at calves. Certainly, obviously, I know you guys have had a lot of success. As we said, raised some AI sires and lots of champions. I've seen some flat banners around here of pictures of some calves that you're going to have in your fall sale. I think uh, some good-looking werewolves, I think, and uh, a really good-looking walk alone. And I think there's a Monopoly picture, too. But just those calves there that I've seen, obviously, I know you guys will have the rest pictured and videoed for your sale. But just those top four in particular that are at least pictured at this point, I would suspect they were probably the most ready to picture this early. But uh, what are your thoughts on, like, in particular, that red walk alone? Uh, the red and white walks alone. Uh, really, really nice calf. Really pretty calf, of course. Fancy as can be. I have had a couple of people ask me what they think about him. A little smaller type calf. Uh, good quarter calf. Um, I think maybe he could go a couple different ways as far as breeds goes because of his color. So uh, he's a pretty nice calf. We've got a monopoly calf out of a checks and a male cow that uh, I think has kind of turned the crank. And uh, he looks awfully good. The uh, werewolf calves uh, are started herring back up. We went through, of course, 100 degree weather for I don't know how many days in a row, but the cattle, um, I thought the cattle would about died as hot as it was. We have a very, very nice place to keep cattle when they're on the cows. And by the way, our calves still are on the cows. Uh, they've got a woods and a creek and a, a really nice place for the wind to move through. And uh, we creep feed our calves and we are feeding cows right now to keep everything in shape. But a lot, a lot of good calves, a lot of different crosses that I've made. Um, even got a, I think, an awfully, awfully good Angus calf. Uh, we, can, we can register key steers, main steers. Uh, the Simital side's a little tougher. But uh, all in all, as everybody says, they've got the best set we've ever had. But truly, this is, this is an awfully, awfully strong set of calves. And people here, in Indiana, don't have to travel five and six and seven hundred miles. There's there's good calves right here in Indiana that are being bred by a lot of good breeders here in Indiana. We'll have a steer in the final drive tonight, the champion key steer, uh, the Wilcox family, and, and he is a contender. So hopefully, hopefully you'll see me again. But uh, uh, this is a good set of calves. Certainly, obviously, I think that calf sired by a mortal. Um, and obviously uh, having a chance to see him out there on the floor, which we'll see him tonight. Uh, he looks like a stud horse, and certainly I think he'll be a player. And I think he is one of the more reasonable calves from what I understand. Obviously, I know calves will probably be in all price ranges, but I, I, from what I understand, I heard that calf was one of, one of those calves that was a little bit greener and, and really exploded, and I would expect you might say that there might be some calves that folks need to pay attention to in your sale. The ones that are always most ready may not be the best down the end of the road. Yeah, we have... Uh... I, I kind of I, I kind of get disappointed sometimes when all the folks have to drive. They think all the good cattle are raised in the West, but there's a lot of good calves raised in the Midwest. I think Brad Sinclair said it really well one time. They raised the champion, uh, the supreme champion heifer here in Indiana, and, and uh, there's a lot of good cattle raised right here in Indiana. And they sure, sure come good luck. There's a lot of good breeders, uh, 75 miles from me, that uh, spend some time in Indiana. You'll find some good calves. Certainly. Obviously, once again, uh, Jeff sells on the 14th of September. How many calves will you guys have in that sale? Uh, we're going to sell only steers just because of my labor situation. I don't have, I can't afford a full-time people, so we just sell the steers. There will be uh, anywhere from 25 to 35 steers, and the heifers will come a little bit later, and they are an awesome group themselves. 
Certainly. So once again, thanks to Jeff Miller. If you have any questions, you can contact Jeff Miller. You can check out his website, jeffmillershowcattle.com. And obviously, the sales on the 14th, as usual with the CW sales, the pictures and videos will probably be up about 7 to 14 days out. And obviously, you guys can bid on the 14th. If you have any questions, once again, contact Jeff Miller. Look for more information and pictures on jeffmillershowcattle.com. And certainly remember to check that sale out. There'll be a lot of great ones. And as we said, a calf from last year's sale is going to be in the grand drive tonight here at the 2012 Indiana State Fair.